Hello friends, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about the new feature released in May 22 Power BI update, which is field parameters. Really, really powerful um, uh, new functionality has been introduced. In this video, I'm going to talk about this new feature, the top three use cases, which I think will be really, really helpful to develop and uh, explore your data in Power BI. Um, this, this is in a preview feature and to learn more about um, what this feature is all about, uh, I will put the link in the description of this video. Do check out the official blog post. Basically what it does, it is allow user to create dynamic uh, measures and uh, fields or columns in their visuals. Uh, instead of previously how we solve this with this disconnected tables and calculation groups and with so many things, but uh, this new feature is going to make it everything is pretty pretty simple so let's uh, look into what this is and what are my top three uh, uh, use cases for this new feature let's get to power bi so here in power bi very simple model again i, I worked on this model in previous videos as well it's adventure works so we have a sales we have a customer data geography product and all this stuff so what i did here is i um, just simply put a um, a metrics visual where I have a sales and quantity use simple save some a year and then I have a country and then which further drill down to product category and then the product so as um, this uh, country is coming from a geography table and the product category is coming from product category table and the product coming from product table so commonly how we create the hierarchies and all that stuff so Let's first like take a uh, look at a use case of with this new field parameter how this how this is helpful and how what we can do with it. So to create this new field parameter you need to go to modeling and then you go new parameters and then fields. Uh, previously we have a numeric range for what if analysis or uh, now we have this new option in their uh, field parameters. So what we can do is give the name whatever the name you want to give. So I'm going to call it country and product. And uh, you can now add columns in here in whatever the order you want. So let's first, I'm gonna add the country from my geography table, what I used in the matrix visual. And then I'm gonna put, create a product category, which is coming from the product category table. And then I'm gonna have the product, which is coming from my product table. So this is the only thing I can actually mix and match. I can also add the measures in here just to clarify but uh, I will have a separate demo for that uh, then you can have the sales and quantity here as well but I'm not going to talk about that right now the measures and the columns are not going to mix together so just keeping it separate so basically what we did is we created a field parameter which contained these three columns from the three different tables or dimensions from my model and then putting it in there so now once we do create so what you will see is there will be a new um, what if a table will be created in our uh, in our field spin so here it is country and product um, uh, th this is the syntax i can actually manually you can write uh, using the dax and you can write this syntax if you know what it is so it's basically starts with the curly brackets which is a, a, a table and then you give the name of the column what you want it could be anything and then which table that uh, name is coming from or the column is coming from so, and the sort order, how you want it to be sorted. So I can, if this is called country, the column name is called country, I can change it to country name if I wanted to. And if I, the column name in my table is called product category, I can change it to product category or whatever I uh, want it to be. And the product, I can, I can change it to product name. So this is the name for this particular field parameter, what we'll be using, but this is uh, representing the column from this particular table. So once I have this, so you will see this this will change based on what we have uh, because we added this as in a slicer on our table uh, on our canvas so now as you can see country name category and product name so in this particular visual what i'm going to use is instead of using uh instead of using the right now nothing is going to happen here because we are doing nothing in here instead of in the matrix visual using this particular um, um, the manual columns which we have in here, I will use this country and product um, table, which is newly we created field parameter, and then this country and product column in there, and I will drop that. 
and uh, I'm going to remove everything else. So now what we have, we, we get to the same point where we were by entering the manual columns, but now we have this hierarchy has been created so we can actually now uh, go up and down the similar way, the way we, we can go before. So I can go, uh, you know, from country to the product category and the product category to the product. So the question comes down to like, what's the difference between doing this and rather, rather than pulling the manual columns in here and uh, by creating this field parameter, how this made a difference. So let's uh, again, one of the use case of this is dynamic uh, axis, dynamic change of axis. In the matrix visual might, might not be visible, but I will show you a demo for that. So what I can do is now, because I use this field parameter as in my matrix visual, so I can, if I click a category here, it will straight filter to that particular category. Now my axis is changed in this particular case, is now it's all the categories. Instead of, I have to drill down one by one, I can actually see the categories. If I go to country name or country, I can only see country. And if I select and product name, now I can see only product. So basically it is dynamically changing the X axis. So in maybe in this particular example, it does not make a, a lot of difference, but let's change this visual into a bar chart for a quick second here. So now we are seeing the sales by country uh, because that's the first in the hierarchy and then uh, and we can drill up and down the way we used to do. Now here, here is the good thing about this particular uh, use case of this field parameter. So if I want to dynamically change my x-axis instead of seeing the sales by country, I want to see it by product or category. I can just simply click on this slicer and now I am my x-axis axis is changed dynamically. To do this before this feature is introduced, we have to create, there are ways to do that, but there's a lot of work we need to be involved, DAX is involved and a lot of disconnected tables and all the stuff involved. So that is totally gone now. And now you can use this feature to dynamically change your x-axis. So I can go to the product name and now my whole x-axis uh, is changed. Now I can go to the country name if I wanted to. And if I don't select anything, now I have the hierarchy and I can still drill up and down. So it, it is now giving us both the features we can drill. So first of all, we can now create a hierarchy from the columns from the different tables. That's the awesome part. So before that, we could not do that. So we, if we really want to create a hierarchy, having the columns coming from different tables, and now we can do that. And on top of that, um, if I really want to use it in a hierarchy, I can remove this slicer from this uh, page, and then it will be just a hierarchy geography, a uh, country from the geography table, drill down into the product table. But the, the, the good part of this is the actual use case is that you can dynamically change the X axis. So I can change this particular visual, um, this slicer to um, a radio button so that only one selection is done at one point time. So this is really useful feature. So far, we have seen two uh, use cases which I came across. So the first one is to create a hierarchy uh, from picking the columns from the different tables and then putting together. So that we could achieve in the previously as well. But if we have to repeat that hierarchy again and again in the different visuals, so we have to manually pull the columns and put in the visual. But with this field parameters, we can create that hierarchy once and then we can reuse it again and again. So that's the first use case, which could be very, very useful. The second use case, which uh, is really powerful, that we can dynamically change the x-axis on our visuals. As we saw in the bar chart, we can pick a product or category or country, and that's what the x-axis is comes down to, or it becomes the x-axis, whatever we select. So the third use case, which I'm going to talk about, is um, uh, about switching the Myers. So let's look into that and uh, how that would work. So let's get to Power BI. So here again, what we will do is we created a one uh, uh, a one field parameter using those three columns. So we will create another one again to create modeling new parameter and pick the fields. And uh, here what we will, will do here is instead of what we call is a call it is select a measure. And we can have now two measures here. We can have the sales and the quantity. So add a slicer to the page and the name of uh, the column is this. This becomes a name of the column in that particular table. So that's great. So what is going to happen, eh, it, we will see the new um, what if 
table will show up in here. So here you go, select a Maya, that's what it is called. And the column is also called the same. I can actually rename the column and table if I really wanted to. So now this is also a, a, a slicer on the page. So if I pick a sales and nothing is gonna happen in this visual and quantity, nothing is happening at this point of time. But before we do that, let's look at that, what, how it uh, <coughs> created. So this selective measure, the field parameter is created sales is again the name, whatever you want. So name of now it is referring to the sales measure. Uh, previously it was referring to the column, uh, table name and column name. And as a best practice, uh, we should never use a table name with the measure. So uh, I would prefer I would recommend, highly recommend to change, uh, remove. If you are adding a measure to your field parameter and you have a, a table uh, next to the measure, remove that. Uh, there's no point of uh, having the table name next to the measure because measures are global to the model. You might move the measure from one table to the different table. It can reside any in any table. So as in a best practice, you should never use a table name next to the measure. So I'm gonna remove that. So again, this one is the order, how we want to see this one or zero, like depending whatever you want. So once once I have this, and so what would be the use case of this? So let's take a look at this. Now, uh, I'm gonna get back to my visual here, the same, well, actually let's convert this visual to back to a matrix visual just for a quick uh, look at that. So we're gonna switch it to matrix visual. So on x-axis we have a country and uh, whatever the hierarchy we, we pick that shows up in here. Uh, so country and uh, the country category and product name. So here we have a sales measure. I'm gonna remove that sales measure and instead of sales measure, I'm gonna use a select a measure uh, column here from the new field parameter which we just created. So what you will see here is you have only quantity. Why are we seeing the quantity? Because this has been selected. So let me remove that just for a sec. So what I have is now I have a sales and quantity. So basically uh, this, why I'm even I put a one column in here from my field parameter, which contains two measure. I am seeing both the measure here because they are part of that field parameter. Now here is the good part. So I can now select a measure what I want to see. And now if I select sales, I will only see the sales measure. And if I select a quantity, I can only see the quantity. So now this is really, really dynamic. So I can pick what dimension by what column I want to see and how, what I want to see, how and what now we can achieve this. So I can have the category. I want to see the sales by category. So now I can see the sales by category. If I want to switch to quantity, I can simply click and I can switch to quantity. If I want by product, so I can do that. And let's go back this, change this visual to back to the uh, bar chart. So now I'm seeing it a product name. And uh, so if I go, if I remove that, so now we are seeing it by, by because country, because current country is the first in our, uh, in our uh, field parameter. So I'm seeing the quantity by country. And if I want to buy sales, so now I can see the sales by country name. And if I, if I really remove this, I will see the sales and quantity both. And you can see that the column, the title is also changing dynamically. So I have a sales and the quantity. Of course, this doesn't make any sense to see together. But uh, again, if we really wanted to do that and uh, in the quantity, uh, sorry, so I can now switch to category if I really want to see it by category and by product name. And uh, I can if I want to see by country. So whatever I want to see now, I can I can choose how I want to see the data and I can choose what I want to see. Uh, now, achieving this before, I have done videos on how you can actually dynamically change the column names of using the calculation groups and the matrix visual and all the stuff. And this new feature, the field parameter feature is really, really powerful and it can actually uh, remove all that noise of creating the things manually with the complex DAX and all the dance we need to do around DAX. So this, by creating these field parameters, we can simply achieve, uh, uh, which, was, which was not straightforward previously. And here is my uh, bonus tool tip in this feature, which uh, which is really, really awesome. So uh, I think it's awesome, but uh, maybe it's uh, you guys don't find it that useful. I'm gonna switch right quickly back to uh, Matrix Visual. Uh, so right now, if uh, here is the bonus tool tip again, uh, uh, bonus uh, tip here. So if I'm 
without I, if I don't select any any column in my my slicer, what I see it's ordered by country and then by product category and then by product because this is how we created the hierarchy and uh, we give the order of what we want to see. So if for whatever reason, I want to see the category first and then want to see the country. So there's a two ways, uh, ways. Other, otherwise I create a new um, field parameter with that order or actually this is how it's gonna work. So if I click category here, now I have the category already showing and if I select country name as well, if it's a multi-select, so given the order in which we select the values in our parameter, field parameter, that the hierarchy get created accordingly. So you see, as you can see now, it, we have the category as the first level and then we have the country. And if a third one is a product name, now I select. So the product name becomes the third level of that hierarchy. Even the original order is first country, second category, and third the product name, but based on how I select in the slicer, the order can change. So again, just to clarify, if I clear everything, it's gonna go back to the original level, which is a country cat uh, category and the product. But if I manually select it, let's say I'm gonna start with the product. So my, I'm selecting the product. So I'm seeing the sales by product, but let's say if I want to see where this product has been sold and the second level I want is a country. If now, if I select the country, the next level uh, is now within that product. It is showing me the sales of that product. Of course, the category does not make sense at this point in time. But again, if I want, I can have the next level, which could be category. So basically, you can create the hierarchy with the field parameters, what you define, and then it will work accordingly. But on top of that, depending on what you want to achieve in your visualization, you depending on how you select, the order you select the values in the slicer, and your hierarchy get created accordingly. I found it very useful um, because sometimes you want to start with the country and see all the products sold under that country or other times you wanted to see a start with the product and you want to see where those products are sold. So this is really, really powerful. And also it allows us to pick and choose the measures which we wanted to see. We don't, let's say if we have five or six measures, sales, quantity, discount, freight or other information, average and whatnot. So we can have a, a slicer simply created for the using field parameter and bringing all those measures in that uh, field parameter. And then we can dynamically uh, on and off those uh, field parameters. Let me know what you guys think about um, this video. Again, just to go back to what are the top three uses, uh, use cases I found with this field parameters. You can create the hierarchy coming from the different dimensions and different columns. Um, it allows us to change the dynamic x-axis. Of course, that's number two. We have a dynamic measures and that's the third one. And we also have the dynamic um, uh, dimension on the x-axis as well. And the fourth, the bonus tooltip is like, depending on how you pick the columns in your slicer, the hierarchy will get created accordingly. Um, provide your feedback. Let me know what you guys think about this, uh, this new feature and what you think about this video. Do subscribe my channel. Until next video, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.